Hey, everyone, welcome back to Droid Scripter. Today, we've got something really cool on the menu. We're delving into the world of Jetpack Compose to create a dynamic animated border. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. So, let's jump into the code. Alright, let's dive into this fascinating piece of Kotlin code, where we're crafting a dynamic animated border using Jetpack Compose. It's all about gradients, shapes, and that eye-catching animation. Let's break it down step by step. First off, we've defined a list of gradient colors. These colors are like the palette we'll be using for our animated border. Now, here's the star of the show, the draw animated border extension function. This is where the magic happens. We're passing in parameters like stroke width, shape, brush, and duration millis. These define how our animated border will look and behave. Composed function. It is a compose function used for combining multiple modifier instances. Remember infinite transition is a compose utility function that creates an infinite transition instance which is used to manage animations. In this case, it is used to animate the rotation angle from 0 to 360 degrees continuously. Angle by infinite transition, animate float. This line defines a float variable angle that is animated using the infinite transition. The angle goes from 0 to 360 degrees and repeats indefinitely with the specified duration and easing.
Modifier, Clip Shape. This is a modifier that clips the content of the composable element to the specified shape. Draw with cake. This modifier is used to cache the drawing of the composable element for performance optimization. Inside the Andrew with content block, the content of the composable element is drawn first. The animated border is then drawn using a combination of a gray outline and a rotated circle with the specified gradient brush. The rotate angle block rotates the canvas by the current animated angle. The draw circle function is used to draw a circle with the specified brush, radius, and blend mode. Restore account checkpoint is used to restore the canvas to its original state after drawing the animated border. Now, let's create our animated button. Let's create a simple function with a box, container, and a nested button. 
In this case, it takes the entire available space fill max size and centers its content. Now, make the button. Let's define its size, padding, and the animated border. In our function the Drawanimate Headbird we will define. Stroke width determines the width of the border. Duration millis sets the duration of the animation in milliseconds. Shape specifies the shape of the button. In this case, it's around a round corner shape with a corner radius of 100. You can customize the animation as you like by changing stroke width, duration, and shape. And there you have it, a vibrant, animated border, dynamically rotating and adding a touch of flair to your Jetpack Compose app. The possibilities are endless, so feel free to experiment and incorporate this into your projects.